Okay, so today I am going to show you how to use a stock photo to put your art into the room and so that it just looks like your art is showcased in that room. And then I will also show you how to make a little template for your artwork so that if you wanted to show how your work would look as a print or if you have several images that you need to create your own stock photo. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to canva.com. Um, I love Canva uh, for designing most of my things that I use. Uh, so this is just a great tool. It's free. Uh, there are options where you can purchase um, different templates or stock photos and things like that. But for the most part, I use it um, in a free way so that I don't have to pay for anything. Uh, so depending on what you want to create, what size you want to create it, you can select one of their templates. So I'm just going to select social media and it'll start off blank when you get in there. All right, so it'll open up. And so the first one that I'm going to do is the stock photo with your image in the room. And so to find a stock photo, you can just Google living room stock photo. Those can come up. Sometimes you have to pay for them. Um, I like using Pexels. Uh, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com and you can search for whatever you want. I just looked up blank wall and found this photo so I downloaded it um, and so I can go back into Canva and if I go over here to my uploads I can upload that image so I can just go grab it from my downloads and drag it in. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I'm just, we're just gonna do it a different way, I suppose. I'm just gonna grab it from here and just copy it and pull it over. Um, but if you do upload an image, you can find whatever photo you wanna put in there. Um, but I'm just gonna put it in. Um, so I'm gonna make my artwork this size. So I'm gonna find something that's portrait um, in the, the way that it looks. So I can come scroll, these are all my uploads. Uh, of artwork so I can find one even if it's something um, you can go in and crop it to whatever size you want it to be so maybe I'll pick this one I'll place it right over the image and shrink it to the appropriate size so maybe I want to make it a little bigger so it'll cover up that frame now you would want to make these true to size so this piece is actually small it's not this big so I would want to find something that I could show it in its actual size um, so that it's not deceptive to the customer who's buying it and so they would see this picture think that they're getting something really big and then in the mail it's like 11 by 14 so make sure that you are using context clues of what the image looks like and how big your piece should be but for this example I'm just gonna make it a little bigger um, now the image below already has a little bit of a shadow but if I want to add kind of a shadow to make it look like it's really there I can go to elements over here on the left toolbar and I'll bring in a square and I'll make it a little bit bigger than my artwork and it'll be skewed off to the right side a little because I'm going to use my light source. I'm imagining my light source is coming from this side because I can see there's highlights and things over here. So my shadow would be cast to the right. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to position it behind my image. So I'm going to send it back. And I can also change the color to black. And then I'm going to adjust the gradient or the transparency down so it looks more like a shadow. So maybe about 30% for this one. And if that looks like too much, I can always shrink it, just make it look like it's really there. Um, however you want to make it. So, and there you go. Now you have um, a stock photo with your image in the room. So we can also do this for creating a print template. Um, so for me, I have hundreds of birds. Um, so I want 
my prints look like this, but it, this just makes it easier to showcase them all and it's a nice template and I can take my uploads and change out the image for however many birds I want and then just pop it right in there. I could save that file, do the next one, save that file. Um, so it just makes it really easy to make a template for your images and make, and how it would look with a mat or how it would look in a frame. So to create this, I'm going to go back to just Canva and I'm going to use a square um, social media size. Again, you just can pick out whatever size you want. Um, and so I'll just click on that. And I used Canva's background for this one. It's kind of like a marble background. I'll go back here. So I'm just going to look up walls. Let's see. Oop, I'm going to go to photos. Sorry about that. Wall. And so you can see that they have some that are for free. Um, some you can purchase. It's whatever you want to do. So I'm going to put that one in here. Oop, let me try that again. If you put it in there, you can have it go to the size. And this is a little bit different than the one before, but it'll work. Uh, and I'm going to put a white square in there. I'm going to change this to white. So that will be kind of what my mat is. I can also add a little bit of a shadow to this one if I want to. So we can just drag this down a little. The shadow wouldn't be too big on a print laying flat. Um, so again, I change the color to black. I'm going to adjust the transparency and I'm going to send the position back behind the white. And so I can move that around. You can use your left and right arrows to move it wherever you want. Um, so I'm just going to create a small shadow. Um, and if it pops off the top, we can just shrink that down. There we go. All right. So now it looks like it's laying on top of our surface. And then I can pull in um, this. And so when I'm using the grid, this helps me to just replace that image quickly. So I can put that there, but I'm going to shrink it and I want that in front. So I'm going to position it forward. All right. And I can make this however big I want. So normally I have like a one inch border on my artwork. So I can make it in there. I'll use the grid lines, it kind of snaps to place. And so now this is my fresh template. So I could save this like this and I could use it in the future with my uploads. So whatever pictures that I have that are nice and cropped already, I can just put my picture in there and save this and I can use it on my website to just kind of showcase my prints. So hopefully that was an easy tutorial for you. Um, if you ever have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks.